Hi, welcome to Bear Witness. I'm Robert Bettis. The past couple of videos, we have been talking about some amazing dolphins. We are going to continue this talk and talk about the Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin, mainly its life. The reason why I picked this dolphin is because it has a grayish pinkish color, just like the previous dolphin, the Amazon River dolphin. So if you're ready to learn some crazy and new interesting facts about this animal, just like I am, sit tight, hang on, and bear witness for what's about to happen. Let's go. So I want to kick off everything today and talk about its size. At a weight of 628 pounds and a length of 3 meters, this dolphin will be in every part of the water you can think of. You can find these dolphins off the coast of Africa and China and Australia. Now, the main reasons why you'll see them at these three places and these are very, very vast depth of water, is because their main diet is mollusk, fish, and marine crustaceans. There are two different kinds of Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins. You have your eastern and you have your western. Now, just because they're named the same doesn't mean that they look the same. Eastern looks different than a western. The eastern humpback has a short dorsal fin and sits on a wide base that slopes into the body. Its hump is only 10% of its body length. Now, a western humpback's dorsal fin is much shorter and much more recurved, but it sits on a much longer and wider base that is 30% of its total body length. Now, I would like to talk about its habitat. Living in a highly tropical and subtropical distribution they love to live in warm water, warmer than 15 degrees Celsius at an average depth of 20 meters. They are often found in bays, coral reefs, long river mouths, and mangrove forests. Now, a cool interesting fact about these mammals and their habitat is that they can live in salt water, marine water, even brackish water. Now, if you don't know what brackish is, it's all right. It is a mixture of fresh water and salt water come together. And I'm gonna post a like picture of it that way you can kind of get a sense of what it looks like. It is an amazing sight of these two waters coming together and you can see the barrier of salt water and the fresh water, like a sight of no other. These mammals live up to 40 plus years. They will only breed once a year. Now, the births occur in the spring and in the summer. After a gestation period of 10 to 12 months, females will give birth to one offspring that is 100 centimeters in length. The young calf is weaned two years of age, but can eat solid food in six months after birth. So the female reaches her sexual maturity at nine to 10 years of age. Now the male reaches his sexual maturity at 12 to 13 years of age. These mammals travel in a small group of 10 to 25 individuals. They have also been known to travel with bottlenose dolphins, cape fur seals, southern right whales, and gulls. These animals do not use echolocation to communicate. These mammals use clicks, whistles, and screams to communicate in their school. The IUCN Red List status has considered these mammals critically endangered. A lot of dolphins porpoises and whales are endangered of extinction because of hunting and because of their habitat getting ruined. All these dolphins need saving. All these whales need saving. Almost every amazing animal that we love, Bengal tigers, gorillas, sharks, and these dolphins are going extinct due to overhunting and destruction of habitat. Those are not actions that I think is right. You wouldn't want someone coming into your home, destroying everything, and then at the end of it, taking you away or killing you. That's horrible. That's technically what people are doing to these animals, coming into their home, killing them or taking them away for their own use. And conservation and other wildlife teams out there are doing their best to stop this and prevent it. And to that, I honor you. I wanna thank you today for watching Bear Witness. I'm Robert Bettis. Have a great day. Bye.